Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Lit Code. Today we are going to start a new series on Cucumber. Um, before learning this uh, series, I will recommend you to learn the uh, Selenium that we have uploaded in a couple of days ago. Like we have posted like 21 videos where we have discussed all the uh, basic functionality of Selenium and also the page object model and also like creating a base class kind of like small or tiny framework. So let's get started now. So what is Cucumber? Cucumber is a software tool that supports behavior-driven development. What is BDD? We'll come to that in a moment. It uses a parser, which is known as Jerkin language. Okay. Um, sorry for my pronunciation. It may be like called like Jerkin or Gherkin. Okay. So based on uh, Google, you can pronounce it. And it is initially built uh, in the Ruby. Uh, the core language is Ruby, but of course it has like different bindings like Java, JavaScript. Uh, Python and also C sharp in C sharp mostly we use the spec flow uh, Both are like same, but of course different differentiations are there and of course it's free to use uh, Cucumber has a free version and as well as a Cucumber studio, which is kind of like paid version So in this video, we are going to learn which is free and of course as per the market need So what is BDD? So BDD is also known as like uh, the behavior driven development okay so it is inspired from the tdd which is which is like test driven development okay so bdd is very simple concept it will have a like simple plain english so based on that uh, like we can uh, improve the communication between the technical and the non technical teams or the stakeholders for example when we write our test in page object model Mostly, we'll focus on the functionality of the application, right? Like enter the username, enter the password. But there are also like some kind, some kind of like methods that might not be understandable by non-technical person. But whereas Cucumber, it's very simple. Like you can see the example here. It has, it will have like feature where we'll say like what we are going to perform or what the behavior is going to be. To be technical, it's not like uh, the coding part. It's like describing the behavior of what the user is going to perform so what is jerkin or kirkin so it's a language that developers use to define test in cucumber uh, since this language uses plain english it means to describe use cases for a software system in a way that can be read and understand by almost anyone okay so for example let's take a like login scenario where we have to enter username and password and we have to uh, do the login once we do the login we'll have to verify like user is able to log in successfully okay so we know in selenium how to do it we have to inspect the username field the password field the login button field and we have to use actions like our functions like send keys click action right and then of course we can uh, do the asset based on the url or if you have some welcome message or toast message based on that we can do the verification but if i have to do the same in jerkin or the bdd style the cucumber then of course we have to say in simple English plain terms like user has entered the username as admin, user has entered the password as pass123, user has clicked the login button, then user will be logged in successfully. Okay, Not in a typical type. So we have some of the jerkin syntax as well. For example, here we can say like we have future, background, scenario, scenario outlines with examples. And then we have the most used keyword like given when then and but okay so we'll talk about this syntaxes more in detail in our upcoming videos as we take some examples so the installation part is going to be very simple as i said earlier we have to uh, use the selenium and of course i'm going to stick to the selenium 3 version because i have planned for selenium 4 more in detail with all the new features so till that i'll be continuing with the selenium 3 version that is 3.14 159 I believe and we are going to use the cucumber version of 4.2.2 uh, the latest version is 7 I guess if I'm not wrong but still we are learning the older version simple idea if you know the basics you can upgrade to any version so we'll be covering the 4.2.2 in detail and once we are comfort with this probably I will try to cover up the version 6 or the 7 okay so that's it for the uh, introduction part let's go and see how to do the installation it's going to be very very simple actually so first of all we have to create a maven project if you already using maven then you already know the steps if not you can watch our uh, selenium playlist that we completed yesterday 
then you can come back to this cucumber okay so i'm going to create a project and it's going to be of course the maven so click on maven project click on next and give the uh, select this create simple architecture and group id and artifact id let's name it like let code and here i'm going to say like let code uh, cucumber okay and let's give finish that's going to be very very simple easy task once the project is built then uh, here nothing is coming basically we have to go to window and we have to uh, select this package explorer okay so now here you can select we have a project called let code cucumber and within that we have of course the pom.xml so i'm going to click on that and in the xml i'm going to paste the dependencies okay all the links will be in the description you can check it from there okay and here we are getting error because dependency should come under dependencies okay so let's create the dependencies and within this this guy okay so that's it as soon as we click on the save button you can see like it's going to download all the jar file from the maven repository and it's going to store in our local machine in the folder name called dot m2 okay so it, it might take a little time because i'm also downloading the cucumber for the first time if you have already then this should be fast okay so that's it for this video i hope uh you understood the basic concept of uh, cucumber to be simple like uh we have to write feature files where we'll say some steps that will be in simple english format that is known as like jerkin and based on that it's going to work of course it will not work based on the text we are going to write internally we are going to use the selenium so before learning the cucumber it selenium is necessary and cucumber is not only for selenium it can be used for anything like your uh, simple unit testing or your appium or whatever the project it is okay the basic it is like creating a binding or a bridge between your code and the feature file we'll talk about the feature file in the next video that's it from my side. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace out.